Hello and welcome back to episode one of Keys from the Golden Gold, the Merkmire Malevolence. That's a hard word to say. <laughs> Almost bailed on it, but I got through. Uh, yes, so our uh, wonderful heist crew has been assembled. They have been introduced to their uh, handler from the Golden Vault, as well as their uh, poor, distraught doctor who is very concerned that the exciting new gemstone that was found in an archaeological dig, go which is going on display to the public tomorrow at the Varkenheim Museum of Natural History, might in fact not be a gem at all, but might be the egg of some eldritch horror that is set to hatch at midnight tonight, as best she can tell. So, per that, she has reached out to the Golden Vault to recruit this wonderful crew in hopes that they can you know, just very casually steal this from the museum and get it to her and her uh, containment vessel before anything terrible happens. Our crew, rightfully, is uh, feeling like this is a pretty sketchy deal with not a lot of information, but it is what it is. And so now we join them as they have uh, left their meeting with their handler and their uh, contact and are heading to the Varkenheim Museum of Natural History to do a little, uh, casing the joint, as we might say. Because this is a heist game, so we're going to sound heisty. Reconnaissance. <laughs> yes! <laughs> and maybe pre-heist. <laughs> also, yeah, there was also talk of some pre-heist heist. A pre-heist heist. <laughs> yeah, you know, a little casual pre-heist heist. Um, so, armed with shop. your uh, lovely and super incomplete uh, hand-drawn map from Dr. Daniel, you are able to make your way to the Varkenheim Museum of Natural History. Who currently has the bag of holding? I do. Cool. Just because I like to keep track of that, because if anybody gets snapped by a guard, that's important to know. I'm sure you guys aren't going to do anything sketchy where guards might notice you. No. Um, not at all. Uh, so you approach the uh, Varkenheim Museum of Natural History. Um, it is a large, beautiful marble building that is open to the public from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, Monday through Saturday and uh, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Sundays, which shouldn't matter. You have until midnight tonight to solve this problem. Um, but in case anyone was wondering, um, as you approach... Uh, you can see that there is like, you know, like beautiful magical uplighting, continual flame uh, torches have been uh, cast with these beautiful colors to sort of uplight the front of the building uh, in this beautiful sickly green shade that is actually a little bit unnerving and seems like a weird choice. I love um, the liquid eldritch displays they have on <laughs> here. Kind of makes the whole thing a little more ominous, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, like uh, it. There's some like banners and, and, and bunting hanging up. There's those big, like, banners that are hanging down the front pillars uh, declaring some of the uh, uh, current uh, displays um, and collections that are being housed. And, of course, the big banner that says, um, you know, uh, Merkmeyer uh, Archaeological Discoveries open to public tomorrow. Um, really trying to, like, generate interest. Um, by the time you get over there, it's like... You know, 4.45, 5 p.m. You guys are very close. You had, like, cut across the university campus, dodged some extreme frisbee uh, that was being played out on the quad, uh, <laughs> and uh, make it to the uh, to the museum. Um, there is a beautiful grand staircase that goes up, you know, and mm -hmm. then just huge, like, sets of doors that are all currently open for people to just freely walk in and out of. Okay. So I was thinking someone should case the outside, someone should go in on the first floor, someone on the second floor, and then Gemma, you said you wanted to find what's-her-face? I'd love to find what's-her-face, yeah. Alda. Alda. Um, also, if we can find any, like, program of events for the evening so we know where people are going to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe in these office is. <laughs> okay. Glad you want to take the first floor then? Okay. I'll try that. I'm going to keep and just hang out in the main area mm -hmm. as everyone else sort of cases just to keep an eye out for 
guards and if anyone takes notice of anyone else, any of our crew. Cool. I'm the lookout. All right. Um, yeah, you guys. I oh. can also find her tonight if needed. And I can take the outside if we want. Sure. Do a loop around. Yeah, I can go to the second floor. Great. I'm very interested in checking out this, uh, what's it called? The Allosaurus? The Gemstone <laughs> Wing. <laughs> Sounds like, uh, like my kind of deal, you know? Uh, yeah. Um, so as you guys approach, everybody has to kind of approach through the main doors onto the first floor. Um, again, as I said, this is, this is the awkward, and now I just have to scroll through everything, because <laughs> there's a lot of locations here, because it's a museum. Um, why do they call it bunting anyway? Mm. I always wondered. Bun bunting. Bunting. I even aren't bunty. <laughs> bunting. Weird. Um, as you walk up to the big main front doors, uh, you look inside and you see uh, this uh, beautiful atrium. There is a very grand, elegant, sort of glorified doormat, but there's this big grand rug that sits directly in front of the doors right as you step in. Um, and then it opens up into this um, grand entrance. There we go. It's like, it's right here. Um, into this grand entrance. Uh, statues depicting robed human women flank the sides of this area. So either side of the doorway and either side of this uh, rug. And then there's a large marble column in the center. The information desk is situated just inside the front doors. And uh, at the far side is a grand staircase covered in carpet that leads you up to the second floor. I, can I retcon that I, cast detect magic before we get inside. Sure. Okay. So I have it up as we're walking through. Yeah, you want to have it up as you're as you're walking in? Yes, please. Uh absolutely. Um as you pass through the doorway, um you immediately start getting a little a little vibe, a little aura um off of these two statues. That blank the doorway. These two? Yeah. Okay. And you have to go through them? Uh, yes. Between them? You have to go, you have to pass between them, uh, over the rug. And the rug isn't, the rug doesn't have an aura? The rug does not have any magical aura. Mm. Okay. Okay, who wants to walk through a statue that looks real creepy? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll walk over the rug between the statues. Yeah, I mean, you walk, it's, this is the main entrance to the building. This I'm just is worried it's gonna, egg. like, uh, drop. Uh, give me, uh, go ahead and give me, you guys are all on, like, just, uh, seasoned D&D &D player high alert. <laughs> yeah. um, so go ahead and give me, but, I mean, you are casing the joints, so give me an investigation check. Womp womp. <laughs> Ten. Ten. Um, yeah, I mean, the, it, it, you're not immediately seeing any other way to enter the building. This kind of just seems like it is the main entrance. And like, it, stepping back from knowing why you're here, it is a lovely entrance. You know, like, there's these beautiful marble statues and this, like, giant marble pillar that's really gorgeous. There's this elegant, like, mahogany information desk that's got all these little, like, brochures and flyers and things on the top. Um, there's a little, um, there, there is a couple of chairs behind it that are not currently occupied by anyone, but as you look around, you can see, you know, a small spattering of people uh, throughout this kind of main area. There's a couple of people, um, standing over to, uh, the, the side, like they are just, uh, coming out of whatever exhibits are over to, I have to do this backwards. It's stage management time <laughs> to your left as you enter. Um, one of whom is wearing like a little bit of a, a blazer and a little halfling woman, um, probably some sort of like docent or, or maybe someone from the information desk who's talking to some patrons. Um, you're also, you, you spot a couple of, uh, looks like guards. They, I mean, they do look like just kind of casual rent-a-cops, the very standard, like, we are wearing the basic 
security uniform with the patch that is probably Velcro, so we could swap it for which place we're working this week. Um, um, just looking a little bit bored, hanging out there in case there's a problem. Okay. I guess I'll head up to the, through the statues, past the information desk, up to the first floor. This so this I'm sorry, the second floor. yeah so this is the first floor so you head up to the second floor yeah yeah um, you're heading up there uh, where is everybody else headed just so I can keep an eye on everyone um Vlad is going to look at doors to what on the map was office sure question okay and kind of like be maybe like in this area and like look discreetly at doors. Sure. Um, and once everyone is in place, we'll do something with that. But I'll let everyone else say what they're doing. Yeah. You're hanging. Yeah, in I'm gonna public just keep area. an eye and make yeah. sure nobody is noticing. Yeah, I'm you're trying. just going this. I mean, this is a big gathering yeah. area, uh, and uh, also at the information desk, getting a pamphlet, kind perfect. of perfect, sitting, looking through um, it. I will say also that you can all see, um, as it is labeled on the map that you guys are looking at, like as, as you look to the far end of the room where these stairs are, which someone is heading to, flanking either side of those are the little like shop kiosks that have all of the like shelves behind, little tchotchkes, so that you can easily just kind of like wander through all of that are, and just be are there, there Do there happen to be any uh, large <laughs> gems, replicas of Take their new home. exhibit? Uh, display racks here are filled with tunics bandanas, books, and bric-a-brac, most emblazoned with the museum's logo. And there are plush benches to either side of the shops and all around this uh, seating area. You don't see anything that looks like a giant life-size replica of a, of a spooky gem. Um, but again, display's not open till the public till tomorrow, so if they have merch, it might be in a back uh, storage area. You do see that behind each shop there is a door that leads into some sort of back, presumably like back storage or yeah. um, passageway or whatever. I'm gonna sit on the uh, sit on the bench. It looks like an L-shaped bench. Yeah. According to the map, so I'm going to sit on it so that I can, if anyone goes in the door next to me, I can see if there, it's locked or there's a key sure. or a badge yeah. access or nice. you know anything like that. Awesome. Uh, Lad will also sit on bench and uh, cast Mage Hand to test the doors. All right. And see if any, to, just to confirm if they're locked or not. Yeah, might as well. See, see which dumb dumb forgot to lock their door. Um, let me double check. Uh, stop it. Uh, yeah, you, uh, so you sit down, you start, um, you know, very casually checking some doors. Uh, go ahead and give me either a perception or an investigation check just to see what you're well, getting. Definitely oh, perception. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that would oh. be total three. Oh. Okay, I was gonna say, you have bits if you want to use them, oh. but I don't know if it's gonna help with the yeah, three. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, um, uh, that marble column, really pretty. And there's this one vein that kind of looks gold that kind of intersects with this vein that's kind of red. And the longer you stare at it, oh, the more it kind of just reminds you hungry now. of a time long ago <laughs> and like really the best meal you ever had. Oh, no. So great. Yeah. <laughs> Um, meanwhile, your mage hand goes and rattles some doorknobs. They do all seem to be locked. Okay. Uh, Gemma, where are you headed? Well, so I'm taking my athleisure wear and I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing like a casual jog outside around the perimeter just to like check things out all the way around if possible. Just, just going full like yeah. college student in yeah. training mode. I yeah. will, I will like press the digitation so that I look not crazy and um uh like if there are you know people loading in for the gala we'll like just be like oh what, what's going on oh, here oh, oh champagne oh, you're bringing champagne oh, in that's amazing. Amazing. and then just yeah looping around 
asking if they know, like, oh, what's the festivity, you know? Mm -hmm. What's going on tonight? What time's dinner? <laughs> I'm looking to see. I, I just, uh, I should say this for the After Dark, but I will disclose it is very funny because it tells me a lot of information about these labeled loading dock doors. If you find them on the inside, it does not <laughs> tell me a lot about if you find them on the outside, <laughs> which is someone who works in the entertainment industry, I find very funny. <laughs> um... Yeah, you do a little bit of drag around. Um, give me, give me a pure luck check. Pure luck check. Luck, 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 luck. Twelve. Twelve. Um, as you kind of come around, you see a very bored-looking guard uh, smoking a cigarette outside the uh, loading dock doors. Looks like they are on break, not patrolling. Gotcha. Is there any activity happening back here? Not currently, no. Okay. Uh, I I will I will walk over. I'll like pull a cigarette out of my my bag and just ask if they have oh. a light. Uh, yeah. She glances up. Uh, mm -hmm. a elven woman. Uh, kind of thing. I was like, oh yeah, sure. Uh, pulls out a lighter, lights mm -hmm. up for you. Is it busy in there today? I heard they have the big opening tomorrow. Oh, uh, I mean, right now it's fine. It's going to be a little bit wild tonight. Uh, rich people drinking, like, I'm sure it's going to be a blast. Mm. Um, but shouldn't be too. I mean, it's the Museum of Natural History. How crunk do you really get at a history museum, right? <laughs> they might try and do something with that Allosaurus. I, ooh, I mean, look, <laughs> I, I have heard some stories about students before me that have tried some things. I'm not personally into that. I'm just trying to get a paycheck, man. But Are you here a lot? Yeah, I, you know, it was really hard to find a part-time gig that fit with my graduate studies. So uh, I just pick up work uh, around here when I can, cause you know, it's walking distance. I can see my dorm from here. And she kind of like vaguely points in the direction of some of the dorms at the end. Oh, that one right there. Yeah, I mean, that building, it's on the other side. You can't actually see it from here, yeah. but you know, it's kind of not great. Cause I stand out here smoking, just wishing that I was in my dorm playing video games instead of guarding a bunch of very old rocks. But you know, it's a way to make a living. Exciting. Yeah. They don't let you uh, get a free run of the place or anything once the public's out? I mean, sometimes at night when you're doing the lock up and setting all the, the alarms, uh, you know, sometimes we play like, you know, Haze the New Kid and like, you know, you hide behind the like ancient statues and then make spooky noises <laughs> and try to like convince people the place is haunted or whatever, but. You know, if Miriam's around, you can't have any fun. Mary, is Miriam your boss? She acts like she is. We don't really, like, really, we all just work for Alda, right? That's the, the curator. She's the only one. Oh, I one think actually. I saw her in the newspaper. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's uh, been doing a lot of interviews about that, like, weird gemstone thing that's opening up mm -hmm. tomorrow. I don't, I'm a poetry major. I don't give a fuck about rocks. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I. Miriam likes to act like she's in charge. She like works for the city watch or something. Very uptight. God, I wish that woman would smoke some weed. <laughs> Might loosen her up. Noted. Um, yeah, I'll just like hang out with them for for a bit until. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, anyway. you you basically are able to just glean that like this. Back to the help. Yeah, this uh, this gal's a graduate student at the university mm -hmm. and is absolutely just doing this job for the paycheck. Um, so yeah, you're just able to kind of shoot the shit for a little bit. Great. Bum a couple cigarettes. It's all a good time. Great. Noting that. Uh, later. And uh, yeah, and then you're able to continue uh, doing your joggy jog around the perimeter. Um, you do notice some fire escapes. Um, as per city code requires, but they're kind of jankety because historical building, we don't have to update this. Are there, but that does mean there are windows places? There are some windows uh, around uh, some of the perimeters and there is a visible massive, like the top of the building is a massive skylight. Right, so. okay. Which I can't see from here, but I can feel in my bones. Well, as I say, when you when you guys were approaching the building, you kind of see yeah. it at a distance. Obviously, when you're right at the edge, you're just yeah. like, I know it's up there. Okay. So. Um, and that shines on to the second floor. 
me confirm because it should. It, I feel like it. No, that's yeah. a but dinosaur. That's it must. What's that? Oh. You know, here's the um, thing. Fun the fact. Or is that the rug? It does not actually specify because <laughs> it only specifies that it's attached to the attic. It does not specify <laughs> if there is a further channel through the attic. I pres I would presume that it shines down. We're going to say that it shines down onto the Allosaurus because why wouldn't you build a glorious skylight to shine down onto your prized massive dinosaur statue that's totally not sketchy or anything? Um, what? It's not gonna come alive. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Definitely just there for display purposes. Um, Sloane, you're heading up, and you, uh, in fact, witness the glory that is this massive Allosaurus statue, one of the shining prize pieces of the museum. Wow. This thing is incredibly massive. Um, is it magical? I am double checking. Is it a fiend, undead? <laughs> I, I don't know that. <laughs> um, you definitely get some, some similar to the statues. You get a little bit of like wispy magic off of it. Um, and when I describe it in this way, um, because you probably haven't played a lot of home games with me to know this, um, this has one of two meanings. Either there is something about this that has a little bit of magic imbued in it, or something used magic to, like, maybe assemble and construct this. Okay. Um, it's a little bit hard to tell. It is not like, oh, I walked by that thing that, like, lit up like a Christmas tree that is clearly a, you know, polymorphed object or something, right? Um, okay. But there's definitely, like, some magical vibe mm -hmm. happening off of this uh, Allosaurus. Um, I... There are also 25 uh, panda pandemic raiders around. Oh! Yeah. Thank you for the raid. Oh, panda pandemic. A group full of tourists in yes, panda yes. gear <laughs> come up to the second yeah. floor. Yeah, they, uh, yeah, from the rival university across town, uh, whose mascot is the pandas. They're coming through on the tour. Uh, yeah, uh, ready to just check some things out. Very rowdy group of college students, but they seem to be having a great time. You're 90% sure that at least two of them have smuggled flasks in and are passing them around to the rest of the group. Because, you know, college. I'd like to kind of link up with that group. Absolutely. And follow them and like just belong to the group a little mm -hmm. bit so as not to draw attention to myself. Yeah, you uh, wander around. Um, I guess I could read you. The intact skeletons of several large prehistoric monsters are on display here, including the museum's most famous display, the beautifully preserved body of an Allosaurus. Oh. Body? Yeah, body? that's the thing. <laughs> Everything else said skeleton. <laughs> Apparently, uh, no. It's leathery skin appearing supple to the touch. That's uncomfortable. Oh. An informational placard next to the dinosaur explains it died in the Merkmire millennia ago and was naturally preserved. Oh. Display cases along the room's walls hold fossils of other ancient local predators. So I'm sorry, everything else here is a skeleton. Apparently the thing in the center of the room is a fully perfectly preserved yeah. dinosaur. Definitely not coming to life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah. It's totally fine. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. Still magical. Still so vaguely wispy vaguely magic. of magic. I'd like to kind of try to direct, not direct the group, but like get toward where it says alarms? Question mark. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, sure enough. There is a, there is a questionable alarms. Alarms uh, where is another option. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm like verifying. Oh this. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So, um, as you're kind of wandering around, you do see that by the stairs, um, so from the view of what you guys are looking at, um, toward me on top of the Allosaur, next to the stairs. Okay. Yeah, right there. Um, this is very fun trying to describe to no one who can see the map. Anyway, at a point next to the stairs on the map that you are looking at, um, uh, there is another one of these statues, similar to the ones downstairs. That gives you a little bit of wispy vibes. Um, as you start wandering around, uh, you pass by um, some of these things toward the cafe, and you... You know when you walk through an area where somebody has previously walked through with very strong perfume on, and so you're not really smelling the perfume, but you are smelling the after effects of perfume? You essentially get that. As you walk by this doorway, you get this 
like after linger of abjuration. And in which the doorway, doorway to the cafe. Okay. <laughs> they have to protect the coffee. Uh, yeah, apparently. <laughs> um, as you continue kind of moving around the area, though, now that you've kind of caught this once, you start to pick it up in other places. It seems to be mostly in doorways. Um, uh, go ahead and give me an int check. Okay. You probably don't need to. You're a smart player. You can probably just figure this out on your own. I'm but of all of my dice. They're little traitors. No! <laughs> Do you have bits? Do you want to what add a bit? It? Yeah. It's a three, so it's a six. <laughs> well, yeah, you know what? Let's add Let's add a d6 to that. Okay. Oh, all right. Oh. Oh. Sorry. You got it in the hole. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Tight, tight, tight. 11. 11. Okay. Right, that's 11. Um, yeah, you, that's 11. <laughs> you, you start to pick this up. You're not fully positive um, if you're catching all of it. But you do notice that it seems to be very specific to doorways. Um, and you get the sense, I'm going to say you probably are familiar with the spell because probably it gets it got used at the shop by your, uh, your master. Um, this is probably the result of somebody casting something like an alarm spell mm. over and over again in the same spot. Not currently active, but consistent in these some of these areas. Okay. Um... And I will say, as long as you've got your detect magic up, if you want to kind of, you've got a few more minutes with it. So if you want to wander through areas and try to like ping on more of these spots, I will give you more specific places where it is. Yeah, I'd like to do that. And I definitely would like to check out the, if I can, the gem wing and the privies. I want to know if there's magic in the privies. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> I want to know if there's magic in the gem wing. Uh -huh. So, as you roll over to where the gem wing is, you uh, see that it is currently cordoned off. And as you look inside, you can see that there are a bunch of those little round cocktail tables getting set up uh, by some slightly frazzled looking museum employees um, uh, who are like setting those up, setting up little like server stations with like drinkware and bottles of champagne and things like that. It is all decked out. Uh, uh, one like arcane caster is like kneeling by a little cauldron, like trying really hard to get the continual flame to change color because it's not matching the tone of the rest. And he like, like like he gets that one to change to the right shade of green, and then the one next to it turns purple. And he's like, God damn! And, like he keeps going back and forth between these two and can't get them to. He's like, Why won't you sync? You're all supposed to be on the on the same channel. You try resetting. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anything magical looking other than the obvious in here? Um, what is the range on Detect Magic? I Just believe like sure it's 30, 30, is 30 feet. feet. Yeah, it's 30 feet. Okay. I was just like, how big is this room if you're like standing the doorway? Um, within your uh, range of what you can get, um, you are... East wall. I was like, where is the actual thing located so that I can see if you are in range? Oh, that's the farthest wall then. Um, so as you're looking in this doorway, sorry, I've got a different map that I have to reference off of. Um, you can see at the far end of the room, there is a pedestal with a big old honking glowing green stone. It is this weird, sickly, like, Dare I say eldritch green? Uh -huh. It's not really a better description. You all know the color I'm talking about. It kind of looks like miasma. Um, uh, but there is this like weird sickly green stone um, that almost seems to glow. And uh, this is with effect within 30 feet of you. I just counted. Um, so you can see it is, it is glowing a little bit. It is not necessarily magical, but it is giving you bad vibes. Like it is, it feels funky. Um, but what you do get is that the pedestal that it sits on is reeking of transmutation magic. Hmm. I love it when I get something concrete to explain. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. 
Okay. Okay. Um, additionally, just looking with your half elf eyes, um, you can see that there are other pedestals with other gems that have been sort of set up around it to make it like a little, let me get like a little thing, right? Like a little display. Obviously, this is the only one they really care about. This is the big feature thing, but you can see there's a, none of that seems magical. It just seems shiny. Okay. Okay. Shiny, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. Cool. Cool. Anything weird in the privy? Uh, anything weird <laughs> in the privy? No, you know. I... Look, it's always worth checking. People put weird stuff in bathrooms. Does anyone have shape stone? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> oh! Give me a few levels. <laughs> I... When I'm in the privy looking around, yeah. I'm just gonna... Um, I'm gonna... <laughs> Do I have to? No, I think I have to see you. Never mind. <laughs> hold on, hold on. That's fine. No, you check your thing just within way. range. <laughs> cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna message Stuart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just gonna be like, I found the weird gem egg thing. Um. <laughs> and uh, they already have it on display, so. Yeah, you can reply to this message. <laughs> F- fantastic. Uh, what? I will let, <laughs> Vlad, Vlad and I will be up momentarily. Uh, has, has Gemma come back at some point? At some point, Gemma will come back in. Yes. I don't know if this uh, is it. Um, sure, let's say, yeah. Yes. You've been hanging out with yeah. these college students, yeah. uh, uh, scope of the area, and now you're hanging out in the bathroom. Gemma will, like, <laughs> find you over at the shop, and we'll go shopping and say to you, do you know Miriam with the City Watch? Oh, look at this hat. Is that, uh, yes. That, oh. oh, no, Mira. Mira, Mi- not Miriam. Miriam. Uh, yeah, Mira, Mira was your, uh, is your contact. contact. Um, however, Miriam, do I know you Miriam? do know Miriam with the City Watch. Um, the most polite way to phrase it is that she has a massive iron rod up her ass. Um, <laughs> we love her. She is one of those like city watch uh, uh, kind of like old school vets that is so by the book, so hard nosed, so down the line to the point where it doesn't necessarily make her like, she's not necessarily like on the take, but like she's also completely inflexible to have any understanding of sometimes there is a gray area and that's okay. Like she is the most by the book of the book readers. Um, nobody really likes working with her because she's kind of a hard ass. All right. Okay. Um, uh, yes, uh, I, I explain the hard ass of this. Mm. Uh, she's the head of the guards tonight, so... Oh, great. Oh. I'd like to buy this scarf, please. Uh, uh... <laughs> a, uh... Sorry, I have to... Lose. Uh, yeah, my, uh, uh, Air Genasi... Uh, one's over and is like, okay, yeah, um... Do you have it in another color, though? Uh, uh, yeah, there's, like, four or five colors. We only have the white ones out right now, but there's, like, a, there's, like, a black one, and there's, like, a green one, and there's, like, a, like, a rust color. Can I see the black one? Yeah, yeah, give me a minute. Um, heads over to the little door, pulls, uh, like, a little, uh, key pass out of their pocket, taps the thing pops through the door. Uh, you can kind of see past them, just like, it's the very classic, oh, this is a storage closet, it's just lined with shelves. <laughs> um, they kind of pop in for a second, um, rifle through some like bins that are on these shelves and then come back out with the black one. Yeah, so here's the black one. It's got the same emblem of the museum in the mm. embroidery, it's just the different color. Do you have it in like a black embroidery as well? Uh, they used to have, like, a black embroidery on the white one, but I think then they switched everything to the blue. Yeah. Okay, I'll think about it. Thank you. Yeah, I'll be here till eight. (laughs) (laughs) And and I was of a lot. Um, uh, Sloane has messaged messaged me. What? (laughs) I'm just doing more words of asses. That's when it really comes out. You're gonna Sloan has messaged me and said, uh, the gem, (laughs) (laughs) the gem is, uh, the gem is on display. 
Oh, so we still know. Vlad <laughs> says like a little too loud. <laughs> let's, let's scout out the pre heist. <laughs> oh no! Pre scout the pre heist. Do I get any weird looks? Uh, yeah, from two small children who had run away from their mom, who suddenly like look at you and look at each other and look back at you. Thankfully, the guards were out of reach. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go look at the stone. So, yeah. I'd like to send another message. <laughs> <laughs> go on, because it's been a little while. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a little while. I was expecting them to come right up there. Vlad is. Yeah. Vlad is going on up the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> Where the hell are you? I'm in the. I'm in the privy. <laughs> You can reply to this message. So Vlad gets up to the stairs. Oh my god! <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, sorry. Yeah. OMD! Oh my there devil, what is that? There we go. <laughs> OMD! Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a big old perfectly preserved Allosaurus that is totally not uh, sketchy in the middle of the room. Um, so while you are hanging out in the privies, <laughs> waiting for anyone to either reply to your message or show up, um, you're not getting anything inherently magical, but um, give me... Um, you can either give me an investigation check if you're actually kind of like wandering around poking into things, or you can just give me like a raw int check to see if you think of the thing. This is one of my dumbest weird mechanics that I use. <laughs> I'm gonna do investigation. What can we I'm gonna poke around. <laughs> is anybody, first of all, I'm gonna look under the stalls and is anybody else in here? Uh, currently no one else is in here. Okay, then I'll poke That's around. why I'm like. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck you. Um, that's a 10. Do you want another? Oh, yeah, yeah, wait, inspiration, inspiration. Do you want to do a bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah Okay, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, take yeah. a bit. Take a bit. Please don't fuck me. <laughs> 13. 13. Um, you're, Poking around, initially, like, public bathrooms in a public place, whatever. Relatively clean, like, you know, well-maintained. You see that, according to the little, like, slidey sheet in the plastic on the back of the door, um, they have been making the regular rounds, or at least they've been checking in to sign off that they made the regular <laughs> rounds, whether or not they actually did it on the hour. Um, but, you know, someone's paying enough attention, right? Um, you're waiting, you're waiting, no one's shown up yet to, but also no one else has come in. Uh, so you start nosing around a little more, and, uh, you decide, you know what? You were young once. You've done weird things. And you start taking the lids off the tanks of the toilets <laughs> to see if anything's hidden in there. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, in the third stall, you find, stuck inside the tank, a little, uh, waterproofed sack. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I start to open it up. Uh, you open it up, uh, and you see uh, two. Um, it looks like a pair of mismatched earrings and a little baggie of. Uh, kind of looks like it's it's definitely something uh, plant based. I smell it. It is not weed, but it does smell like hops. Hmm. Like brewer's hops. Okay, okay. Um, what's up with the with the earrings? Uh, your detect magic is still up, I'm gonna say. Um, they are indeed magical. Um, I do not... I should have had this immediately linked, and I did not drop the link in. But I will say, again, you got, uh, you know, experience with your own stuff. Uh, you can tell that these are magical. This is a pair of earrings of message. Yes. And, oh. and at that point, like, you hear... And, yeah, and suddenly so, like, someone oh. knocks on the door of the public bathroom. Yeah. Jeez! Vlad, <laughs> but Vlad didn't get the message that you were in the... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No. Vlad is just Vlad staring is... in awe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It's full of blood, perhaps. Um... Who's there? I'm like kind of putting everything back together, gonna try to tape it on the inside of the toilet, put the thing back. It's okay. Sloan, it's Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Open up the. Um, <laughs> as you guys have walked up to the door, a, a like 10 year old kid like walks by, looks at you, <laughs> you group of adults, and just goes, 
You can just open the door <laughs> and keep walking. <laughs> Um, also, uh, we have 500 more bits from Duke Fleeg yeah. for some more investigation. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're great. Yay, yeah. thank you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this small child is very entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, did you all see the big evil green egg thing out there? You're not here, are you? You're at the I think, I, think, oh, oh, no, I think they would have grabbed Oh, no, it's right, so, so big. Uh, dinosaur. Where, where is, uh, where is Egg? Where is um, Egg Monster? You just go around the corner and then it's, it's, it's not a monster, it's just, you know, it's kind of big, kind of bad vibes, you know? Okay. Yeah. Also, is the kid still in here? The kid did not come in. The kid walked by them in the hallway, like, as this knocking okay. on the door was happening. Gave them a look like, oh my god, the adults don't know how a public bathroom works <laughs> in the <one." laughs> I'm gonna... Grab the. I'm gonna open up the toilet again and grab the waterproof yeah. stuff as well as the. I'm gonna actually pocket the hop smelling sure. stuff. Okay, these are great. They're awesome. You basically they do don't what I just match. did. <laughs> <laughs> They're not supposed to match. They go like you know, one person wears one and the other person wears the other one, and then you can talk to each other the way I talked to you just now. Uh, in my head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, given they were in the toilet, <laughs> I mean, they were in a waterproof bed, but given they were in a toilet, I kind of think that there's some kind of way that they can detect if we're, like, wearing magical items. So I feel like we should leave them here and get them later. Uh, maybe we should, yeah, this must be from the other heist crew. <laughs> Someone's kind of edging in on a territory here, you know, like... So a, we need to be first. Yeah. Well, we should hide it in another toilet. <laughs> okay, the one right next to it. <laughs> They'll never know. Never! You wouldn't look at the, at the, at the same place that you hit it. Right? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Well, well, okay. you, well, we don't have to hide it in a toilet at all. <laughs> we can put um, it in a bookshelf or... Uh, or a you know, bag stairs. that has all other dimensions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Vlad, you are so smart. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm my hard. intelligence is quite low, actually. <laughs> I'm literally holding the bag in my hands. That's great. I love it. <laughs> okay, let's go look at Murderstone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it like... <laughs> I mean, it's a little weird if we all leave the bathroom at the same time. <laughs> I'll be in the cafe. Okay, I'm gonna go first. <laughs> Lad leaves because Lad wants to look at the, the yeah. stone. Uh, uh, give me a quick perception check, Lad. Oh gosh, let's try the other dice. You got it. Oh, you're all just getting the bad rolls out now. Slightly higher. Four. <laughs> um, you walk oh, out. God, the elephant. Oh, oh my god. You 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 walk out of the bathrooms. You uh walk out and just in the like scan of your glance, make direct eye contact with the very judgmental ten year old <laughs> who was just staring at you, like sucking on one of the. It's one of those like uh novelty lollipops where it's got like the like little preserved like scorpion in it that they sell at museums and things, and he's just like staring at you. <laughs> Oh god. Um, doesn't say anything, it's just like look you can just feel his judgment. Uh and then you walk by, there's an Allosaurus there, holy shit. Oh. And then you finally are able to make your way over and look uh down the cordon off corridor. And sure enough, there's a bunch of cool gems in this thing, but there is definitely one that is a massive, creepy, green, slightly glowing murder rock. Is there anyone in the room? Uh, there are some employees try, uh, setting up tables and things. There seems to be one guard who's sort of like hanging out, not really helping them, but not like it's it's that weird thing of like, oh, you picked this post because you it's easy because you don't actually have to do anything because nobody else is in here except employees. Um, but they're there. Um, and then, uh, again, the one, like, very cantankerous mage or whatever who is trying to get all of the lights to match and is having a dickens of a time getting okay. them to all read the same address. Uh, Vlad wants to, like, tur turn back to make sh uh, to pretend like they are looking at the Allosaurus, but cast Mage Hand and just, like, 
knock on the display glass and see what happens. So there is no glass. It is oh. a pedestal and then it's just sitting directly on this pedestal. Then like bump the stone and just see what happens. Okay, me. My mage hand is visible. It is? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thought it was all play. Yeah, never mind. Not, 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 okay. not glass. It's spectral, so it's like, okay. I mean, it's, 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 it's <laughs> not okay. It's, I was it's, saying, it's, it's, it's a little, it's a little hazy. If a, if, if, uh, if, uh, Gemma wants to do some very blatant smoking inside and try to pass no, it off no. as a bad choice. Get kicked out <laughs> right now? Yeah. I don't think so. Oh, man, you no, don't no, 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 not yet, not yet. Um, the arcane trickster, it's invisible. <laughs> Level three, yes. someday. Uh, I, I would like to also take a peek. Yeah. Um, yeah, everybody else has made their way out of the bathroom, past the judgmental ten-year-old, and can now all look Not at the Not weirdly the all at the same time. Yeah, no, you, 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 you took turns. Um, but yeah, you, yeah, same thing, you see all this activity, such as it is, and you see this, uh, creepy-looking gemstone. That you all know is not a gemstone. <laughs> uh, uh, Vlad will still actually cast Mage Hand, but <laughs> behind the pedestal to just bump it and then dismiss it. Okay. Bump the pedestal. Um, I'm gonna not be gathered around this door with everyone. <laughs> this feels like a bad idea. Yeah. Um, you cast your mage hand, so it kind of pops up behind to bump it. Um, you can feel through your arcane connection to the mage hand. This pedestal is solid. Aww. Like, it does not rattle, it does not move. It feels like it is affixed to the floor. Yeah. Good idea. <laughs> uh, do I recognize the guard? Uh, give me a history check. Just to determine. Ooh. <laughs> nice. I have to look where history is. It's after... Uh, 21. 21. Oh, yeah. You know that kid. That's Clark. Clark. That's Clark. He's, he's, he's not watch. He's... he's Museum guard? He really wants to be watched. He wants to be watched so bad. He's like, he is technically adult, but like in the relative conversations in the break room, that kid's 12 and he needs to stop applying until he's got some life experience, which is probably why he applied for the job here. He's so, he's so enthusiastic. He's so dumb. <laughs> like he's, he is, he's an infant compared to the rest of you. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna uh, talk to the guard if you wanna pretend you don't know me. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> um, Clark, Clark. Uh, Clark looks up and is just like, oh, oh, hey, hey, uh, Stuart. And he like runs over to talk to you like over the cord and he's like, hey, uh, what, are you, what are you doing here? I haven't seen you around. I heard, I, I heard, did, did you, did you leave the, did you leave the watch? You weren't there the last time I stopped by to drop off my application. Uh, I, I've, I've been under, I've been undercover. Oh, shit. Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm pretending I'm not a car. So most, oh, most oh, yeah, no, well, uh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, how, how can I, how can I help you, sir? Do you need <laughs> direction? The restrooms are that way. Uh, what's going on? Uh, I'm just, uh, gonna be providing some extra security here tonight, but oh. it's, it's on the lowdown. Oh, yeah, I mean, with, with all the, with all the rich folks that are coming in and this, this new, uh, this new discovery, like, I, it's totally, it totally makes sense. You want to have as much, uh, as much backup as possible. Are you... Are you the only one undercover? Uh, the, there will be a few more of us, but uh, I'm gonna keep that under wraps. Oh yeah, sure, sure, sure. Is there, is there like a like a secret code word or like a handshake so that I, if something happens and and I accidentally like snag one of your people, there's like a way to know? <laughs> Scorpion bush. Scorpion bush. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Great. Awesome. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Never apologize. <laughs> Great. Um. Yes. Uh, anyway. So yeah. So uh, I'll be around. You'll you'll see me. I'll I'll be moving in and out once we're. Yeah. Yeah. No. I totally. Room. I totally. Scorpion bush. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You have made this kid's day. This is yeah. the most excited he's been in months. Nice. Okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> 
go in and <laughs> go in and work on a different accent. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um is there anything else y'all you are you are now you've been here for I'll say probably like at this point we're going on like half an hour, forty minutes. Mm. Okay. Um uh again, you still have some time before the museum closes if you want to leave and come back while it is still open to the public, but um, is there anything else you want to do before you all head out? I would uh, like to clock, so the kid used the key card to open the closet downstairs. I just want to clock if other people have closet key cards. Sure. Um, oh. Go ahead and give me, you can do perception or investigation. Um, I think you said you were kind of heading over toward the cafe, so yeah. you can absolutely like go to the cafe, like get a latte, and then just sort of like watch, watch. like people watch and kind of clock for things. Okay. <sighs> it's fine. You're just getting out the bad rolls this week, so the next week when you have to actually heist things, <laughs> like uh, it's a twelve. Twelve. Um. It's not too hard to notice that just as you're kind of watching folks who seem to be museum employees, um, there's, you know, some docents, there's some, uh, you know, a couple of like the gift shop type employees, the folks at the cafe, um, and the guards all seem to have little like pass keys. And it's the very standard, like, you know, it's like the little touch key like ID thing. Clips to their belt. Clips to their belt. Um, Sitting here long enough, I'll say that you guys have been in here long enough. Um, you don't have a whole lot of details, but it does look like employees versus security have slightly different pass cards. Um, they probably, all, they all seem, you're guessing they all work in the same way, where it's just that sort of like arcane touch lock uh, to give okay. you access, but they're probably coded differently to okay. access different parts of the building. Okay. Uh, yeah. Perhaps we should uh, retire and uh, change our clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what kind of security is on stone. Like any alarm? Maybe you ask a friend. I see you talk to a security guard. Um, mm. Some kind of transmutation magic. Right? Did I get that right? Yep. Transmutation magic? Yep. Transmutation, Transmutation magic. magic. But I feel like we shouldn't probably discuss this here. We should probably like, go somewhere else and talk about it. Maybe not like right here. Okay. So Vlad, yeah. I, we're gonna leave. Um, yeah. <laughs> as we're going down the stairs, Vlad is gonna steal a lollipop from the little <laughs> you wanna, you wanna rat kid. Steal from the, from the judgmental 10 year old? Yeah. Yeah, uh, give me a sleight of hand check. <laughs> see if you can just <laughs> kind of like... Snag this as you, uh, like on a drive by. Oh! <laughs> I was gonna laugh so hard if this was the nat twenty of the night. No. <laughs> Let's do it. This bit <laughs> We're almost in the end. We gotta use them anyways. Which one do we want to use? Oh Ooh, yes. Very okay, nice. 15. Fifteen. Um. Yeah. You uh, drive by. Uh, the kid, the the judgmental ten year old is now talking to two of their friends and sort of is doing that that thing where you kind of like got it between your fingers like you were pretending to smoke, but <laughs> it was the lollipop. And so they're kind of like talking, um, you know, 10 going on 50, you know, to their to their similarly aged school friends. And you're able to just kind of just do like a, like a drive by and just sort of like palm it and walk away. Cool. Uh, yeah, you now have a <laughs> lollipop with a scorpion in it that might have other properties. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe they're a part of the other heist crew. <laughs> yeah. A 10 year old it's heist a crew. Halfling in disguise. <laughs> yeah. Look, sorcery can manifest at any time. Um, but yeah, so you guys, um, is there anything else that you want to say you investigated or that you want to specifically ask about before you leave the museum? Mostly just for the housekeeping of not forgetting it while we're in the moment. Just if if my detect magic is still going as we leave, I just want to kind of yes. get a scan of the first floor. Um, I will, uh, for your guys' sakes, uh, I will show you on the map 
once we wrap up other places where you noted that, so you can have it for next week. But um, did the skylight? Was it only over at the Allosaurus or all over the whole? Sea it is floor? just over the Allosaurus. Okay. Cool. Um, um, it's definitely sort of like there's there's clearly some sort of like chute or funnel mm -hmm. that allows it through the ceiling that kind of like isolates it down on the Allosaurus. Um, looking up into it, you would guess there might be some sort of like you know cleaning or maintenance access from whatever attic space there is around it, kind mm -hmm. of into there. But you're not sure exactly what. But also, like, there's a glass skylight there, just FYI, in case that's information that you need at a later point for any yeah. reason. It would be useful. <laughs> just um, saying, it's there. I'd like to check. Uh, when we leave, I'd like to go to Petey's dead drop. And yeah. Check the garbage can. Uh, yeah, you pop open the garbage can. Uh, there is a garbage bag in there, but it has like the twist tie that is like wrapped in the specific way that you know is the code. So you know it's not actually garbage. It's for you. Uh, swipe that? Yeah. Cool. Uh, where are you guys? Uh, are you guys splitting up? Or are you guys reconvening in a specific way? Uh, so I do want to go some hide some stuff in the... Uh... In the bathroom. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I put the I oh. put the earrings in the briefcase. I think is what we decided, right? Yeah, yeah in the yeah. bag of holding. Yeah, in the briefcase holding. Yeah. Cool. cool. Um, unless there's somewhere, it, it, those are the only bathrooms in this. Apparently, oh. yes. It's okay. just it's just one uh, block of bathrooms. I know those show it as individuals. I'm basically saying that they are uh, UK style enclosed stalls, but that there is an adjoining like shared sink area. Mm. So uh, up those stairs, if I'm gonna, if it's free and clear, I kind of want to just pop up the stairs. Uh, those are the stairs that go to the first floor. To the attic, or what these about these? Here? To the attic. Oh yeah, we didn't oh. look at those. Let me see. Let me let me see what's up with those. Well, I flip to my code. This is also hard because like I'm having to do again stage manager brain. Um, you can turn it around. No, it's fine. Look at what I have so many maps. Um, give me a pure luck check just to see if anybody is there who would notice you pop up. Oh, that's mm. a natural one. A natural what? one. Uh, the door's locked. Okay. And uh, well, you don't. But think nobody's you... around. But nobody's around. I might just try and pick that lock. Okay. Look, I gotta let somebody do some class feature or something before um, the end of the night. Gosh, you know, I don't, really don't know why they don't put thieves tools on your skill set. You can customize it and put it on your skills, nice. which is what I do. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a two on the die. Oh. <laughs> I mean, even with a plus six, it's not great. You could use Eight. Some inspiration. Okay, okay, so we use inspiration. Okay. Frisbee. Eight, twelve. Total. Bad for speed. In, In the, the cup! cup. <laughs> Which you couldn't father. even see. I'm actually wow. very impressed. That was amazing. Yeah. No, it like perfectly winged it. I That was great. You had a goldfish oh, I'll wash it. No, it's fine. Um, okay. So eight, 12 total. 12 total. Um, takes you a little bit. You're kind of peeking over your shoulder and it pops and you're like, oh, they need better. Like for all the guards we've seen around, <laughs> this was a very insecure lock. <laughs> You're like, oh, maybe they will hire me, actually. <laughs> yeah. uh, like, if this doesn't go through, I can come in and say, hey, let me tell you all the flaws in your system. Uh, I'd like to just uh, go up and peek around. A winding staircase leads up to this cramped space filled with haphazardly stacked boxes. Um, uh, starlight pours. It's five in the afternoon, so late uh, afternoon sun pours through the skylight. <laughs> Good thing. Head. Was on there. <laughs> um, once you get up here, essentially what you see is there is like a guardrail uh, around the area that shines down to the Allosaur from here. Um, so it's not fully enclosed from the skylight to there. Um, so that is also currently lighting the attic. Um, there is a skylight. There is roof access from the skylight. It is locked at the moment. Um, but you can find like where the latches are for that. Um, and there's a lot of like eventware up here. You know, lecterns, 
big box of like tablecloths, a pile of what you can tell are like the little like cauldrons that hold the continual flame for like when they need that uplighting and things like that. It's it's just full on like storage for that kind of stuff. So okay, I'm going to stash some things. Sure. Up here. What are you gonna hide? Uh, basically my burglar's kit, which you know. So so <laughs> yeah. um, the hammer, mm -hmm. rope, uh, grappling hook. You know, just the small, usual. small little pack of things that, yeah. you know, quick escape if we need it. Yeah, you can easily, like, tuck that into a crate or behind some furniture and no one's gonna know unless they're looking for it. All right, C crowbar. And then yeah. uh, head and head back down. Cool. You head down, you head out. Um, Gemma, are you doing anything on your way out? Oh, you step gonna, in this Sorry, I'm actually gonna oh. stash a dagger and a yeah. Oh, yeah. rapier. Okay. Yeah, I mean, just keeping one last eye out for Alda. Um, but okay. Um, yeah, you haven't spotted her, but again, based on the hub, like, wouldn't be surprising if she's prepping for the grand gala this evening. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay. Uh, you guys all head out to uh, prepare for things. Um, are you guys, everybody's kind of splitting their own separate ways? Is anybody going together? Anybody meeting up? You two are going to, yeah. Up, yeah. Um, I think, um, I don't know if, I, I'm not going to open this bag right here in front of the fountain, but we could, <laughs> we could go back to my place if you need, a, I don't the know. The tavern. Oh, the I tavern. I was thinking. Sure, yeah. Um, when we get to the tavern, are I, we just regrouping at the tavern eventually? Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. good. I think so. Yeah, so. give everybody a chance to run home, grab whatever they need, meet back up. Yeah. Yep. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna sure. Open up the bag, and uh, I'm gonna pull out Gemma's outfit. Thank you. Uh, uh, so what PD has rummaged up for you guys? Um, uh, for Sloan, Managed to find it is a not perfectly matched, but intentionally like not quite coordinated yes. uh, blue pantsuit. So it's really nicely fitted, like dark blue pants, slightly more royal blue jacket with then like a light blue checked shirt oh. underneath. Uh, coordinated pocket square. Um, the jacket has an option so that you can basically like unhook from underneath. So it can either be a short style jacket or you can kind of peplum out the back a little bit if you want a little bit of length and flair. Um, very high end. Um, there's a little note pinned inside the collar that says, just don't ask. <laughs> um, I never do. Yeah. I never do. So it smelled like it's been on dead body recently. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to do an investigation check, you can. I promised but... Petey that I wouldn't ask, so I'm not going to so ask. I'm not going to ask. Um, but anyway, it uh, looks very great. Uh, Gemma, yours is a uh, really uh, nice jumpsuit. It is oh, like yes. shot silk. It's oh. in sort of a like rich kind of like, you know, like earthy, uh, rust brown, uh, with like, it's like shot through with like little like gold threads. Mm -hmm. And it's definitely that kind where you can kind of like cinch the middle to give it shape, but it's very loose and comfy, lots of room for movement. Oh, yeah. Uh, this one has an open side of the color that just has like three question marks. <laughs> <laughs> is Petey good or is Petey's Petey great? Good? Petey I is mean, great. I would love Petey's number. I mean, you know. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to see. He's kind of shy. Yeah. You know. Ask him about it. His number yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he can kind of whistle. whistle. I'll teach it to you. Later. Work on my whistle. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, as you guys are sitting in the tavern, Vlad heads home to get their finery. Uh, Stuart heads home to grab their suit, your uniform, whatever else you need. Yeah. Everybody sort of uh, splits off. Yes. I'm sorry. I would no. also like to go home. Yes. And totally. I would like to retrieve the, this, like, uh, it's like a, it's a very simple silver chain with, um, what looks like, uh, a silver kind of mirror. Oh, yeah. Looking pendant. Um, it, it's like a choker and then like a single, 
Nice, like, nice. And and that's the that's the thing that has the like basically the chips that come off. Perfect. Yeah. Um, and then I would also like to um, I would like to bring Theo, my yeah. snake. And you pick up Theo. Yeah. See, there are snakes and snacks. Snakes and snacks. <laughs> snakes and snacks. So yeah, you head off to pick up uh, pick up the rest of your gear and yeah. Theo. Um, and so what? for a brief moment, Gemma, you are alone at the bar, hanging out with Dave. Um, and trying suddenly... to crack Dave and see if I can get information on all these other secret societies. <laughs> Dave uh, is not hard to crack. He will happily answer Great. any questions you have about. <laughs> Any secret society you want. He fully like flips. He's got like the long What's hair. What's the three triangles? The three triangles. <laughs> oh, that's this like weirdo group that that they've got a whole thing about like like sacred geometry and numbers. I'm not sure if it's bunk or if they're just like on a higher plane than us, which might be a literal like different plane from the material plane, or it might just be that they're high all the time. It's really hard to tell after a certain point. We get a lot of weird people in mm -hmm. this group. Mm -hmm. um, this one with like the, like the circle and the star mm -hmm. in it, this is a group that fully believes that we're all living in like a hologram. Um, oh. It's a, it's like a whole, I, it's kind of mind blowing to listen to them, but it's also just like a little surreal. He will chat your ear off uh, for <laughs> for quite a while so. until at one point mid sentence he gets this like kind of like odd look on his face, just kind of stops. Um, kind of looks past you over your shoulder and goes, "Is that? Do you know them?" Yeah, I'm turn around. And uh, you turn around. Uh, and you see your mom. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, she looks at you, and she looks concerned. Okay. Hey, I'm sorry to do this. I know you're in the middle of a thing, but... That uh, you sent me? Yes, that I sent yeah, you. No, I, no, I'm... I, the one that you were like... Two hours ago, uh -huh. like, hey, you've yep. got to nope. go do that. I'm thing. aware. Five um, minutes some the thing, call time. some things have changed. Okay, some things have changed. Uh, you got your ring? <laughs> yeah. Um, you should hop in. We gotta go. Great. I'm gonna slide. Uh, <laughs> Dave, a tip. Hop into my ring. Uh, Gemma disappears, leaving a ring on the counter. Uh, her uh, mother walks over, picks up this ring spins around into a swirl of dust and vanishes out the doorway. She's great. Uh, and Dave just kind of stares at all this for a moment and then just goes, shit. Uh, pulls a sending stone out of his pocket, dials a number and goes, uh, yeah, you're going to need to find a new one for your crew because uh, I think you just lost one. And that where we're going to end tonight's oh, section. Da, da, da. Thank you all for joining us for this incredibly talky first episode of Keys from the Golden Vault. We are still in chapter one, the Merkmire Malevolence. Uh, we will be back next week to see uh, how most of this crew completes their mission mm -hmm. um, and maybe find out what's going on with anything that's going on. <laughs> Um, in the meantime, uh, we have a little bit of other programming coming up. Uh, tomorrow is Wednesday, which means another episode of The Redacted Reports. You can check all of your podcatchers for that. Um, uh, we will be back next week with this show. And on the 20th of this month, we will be back with another Arena of the Five E's. Uh, the table and the theme is still to be determined, so keep an eye on your Discord, and if you are a patron of Quests and Chaos, you can keep a special eye on the Discord for information about submitting characters for that. Speaking of Patreon, if you would like to support us, Quests and Chaos has a Patreon! Uh, there should be a Nightbot command that you can hit, exclamation, uh, Patreon, if you want to know more about that. Or you can just hit exclamation links, and that'll take you to our link stack that'll tell you all of the wonderful places that you can find us. You can get our Discord, you can follow us on YouTube, uh, join our Patreon, any of those sorts of things. We're very active in Discord, so if you want to ask us questions, you're always welcome to do so. Thank you for joining us. We're going to head out and maybe do a brief little After Dark, uh, another perk of being a patron, and we will see you all next week. Join us next week for Snacks and Snacks. Snacks and Snacks. Oh, snacks. And Scorpion Bush. <laughs>